I had a chiropractor from Florida drop my, my ex ex uh, exhibit booth on yesterday, and I asked him, I said, I want to know about that square wave machine over there. I, I wasn't quite sure. I heard the speaker in here that day, and it fascinated me because I'm the author of uh, two books on alternative health, and I said to the chiropractor, I said, that, uh, that square wave machine, does it work? He said, you better believe it does. I have them in my office. I said, does it get rid of virus and bacteria and fungus? He said, you better believe it does. I wouldn't be without it. He said, you need one. Do you need one? Everybody here needs one. What good's it all going to do? What good's it going to do when you have to pay a fortune and your dollar plummets to lower than what it is right? You better buy what you're going to buy today. And I'm not advertising for those people. I'm telling you what's over there. And this chiropractor said it works. If you had to pay only $3,000, I think that's what they're charging for, about $3,000 today, you may be paying $5,000 six months from now. Why? Because I know the other day I had to buy a DVD machine to make DVDs. The price went up $100 in 30 days. Why? Oh, DVD machines a year ago cost $1,500. They went down to $700. Before I could buy one, they went back up to $800. And I asked the people at CCI in Seattle, Washington, I said, why'd they go back up? And they said they went up because the dollar is plummeting. It's worth so much less. We get it from China, and China is charging us according to the value of the American dollar. Folks, watch out. Hyperinflation is here, and it's going to continue, and the dollar is where it's going. And mark my words, it's all planned. Every bit of it is according to their agenda. They know what they're doing, and you and I are considered as nothing but pawns in the game. But I have a message for them. It's time that 700 people from Quest wake up and go back home and do something about it. You're going to have to be responsible for your own health. And you'd better make preparations right now. And Quest has done a marvelous job. I congratulate all of the workers and founders and staff at Quest. They have carefully, meticulously examined every product and every person in their exhibit hall. You can depend on them. Quest backs them up. Go over there and take care of your health care today. You may not be able to do it six months from now. Next door to me, right the booth next to mine, is a gold dealer. No, I, I don't make a penny off of what he sells. I was over here in these little private meetings, you know, we have in the afternoon. I was over there yesterday afternoon, and people were asking me questions, and I gave a portion of what I'm giving today. And one man raised his hand. He said, Chaplain, I, I, want, I want to tell everybody here. Oh, he was so excited, he didn't know what to do. He said, I want to tell everybody here that there's a gold dealer up in Washington State that I can send a wire transfer from right down here where we are in Cancun. And he said, from what you've said today about what's going to happen to the dollar and what's taking place in oil, I'm going to send a wire this afternoon and have my gold shipped to me before I get back to Washington State. I hope he did it. It is going to go to $1,000 an ounce. It wouldn't surprise me if it didn't go to $2,000 an ounce. Gold and oil are tied together. Peter Jacobs. Peter Jacobs is a very wealthy gold dealer in Australia. He spoke at a church in, uh, near uh, where I live just the other day in Scottsdale, Arizona. Peter Jacobs, one of the wealthiest men in gold, private individuals in the world, and Peter Jacobs said, gold is going to $1,000 an ounce. Now, gold has almost priced most of us out of the market already. You better get in while you can. I remember what they did back in 1984. I know what they can do again. It's the only thing where you're still seeing great value. Over here in the exhibit hall, I'm begging of you, there are so many exhibitors there that can save your dinner table. 
and that can spare you from financial ruin. And that's why you're here at Quest. I wrote this book, Syndrome of Control, for the purpose of telling the mindset of the financial people of the world. The men I rubbed shoulders with for three years. There's one thing I'd like to stress this afternoon if I can. Listen to their buzz words. There was one thing that I learned at Prudhoe Bay when I lived with these people and sat in their board meeting. That I learned to listen to their buzz words. They tell you everything they're going to do and they tell you in advance of their doing it. Think back with me for a moment. When President Bush Sr. was President of the United States of America, do you remember the buzzwords, thousand points of light? Remember it? Did that mean anything to you? It meant something to him. It meant something to me. Because I, I heard it. New world order. Did that mean anything when you first heard it? Probably not. I picked it up immediately. I was recently watching Good Morning America. I very seldom watch the news because I know it's all planned anyway. But I was watching Good Morning America one morning and George Bush Sr. was being interviewed. And the question was asked him by the host on Good Morning America, Mr. Bush, do you ever watch the morning news? You know, valid question. Why not? You ever watch the morning news? You know what his answer was? No. She, she kind of looked stunned for a moment and looked back at him and said, well, Mr. Bush, why don't you watch the morning news? You ready? I heard it with my own ears. He said, because I already know what it's going to be. I mean, this man was so blatant with what he had to say until he gave out all of his secrets. There are buzzwords today. Listen to their buzzwords and you'll know everything they're going to Listen to this one. This one came out of the Washington Times. There were a group of the wealthiest men on the face of the earth that met in Debo's, oh, I'm sorry, in Geneva, Switzerland recently, and afterwards they came out with this, and when I saw it in the Washington Times, immediately I knew what they were talking about because I have learned to listen to their buzzwords. And when you get through reading my book, Syndrome of Control, over 200 pages, nothing but the mindset of the power elite of the world as I knew them. And when you read this, you will understand how to listen to what they have to say because you'll never understand them until you know their buzzwords. They are obligated by their God to tell you everything they're going to do. And they do it, but they do it in buzzword form. Listen to this one. Geneva, Switzerland. And after the meeting was over, it appeared in the, New, in the Washington Times. Listen, the price of crude oil could reach $131 a barrel if Iran stops production amid a standoff over Tehran's decision to resume uh, a uranium enrichment. Why did they say $131 a barrel? Why didn't they say $130? Why didn't they say $120? Why didn't they say $100? They were telling you something. Mr. Ken Fromm called me on the phone that day and he said, Lindsay, oil is going to $10 a barrel. Tell the world. He was bragging. He was feeling good. He was boasting. Even these people like to brag and boast. He knew where it was going. These people do too. You know what that denominates to at the gas pump? $6 a gallon. You will be paying that. You'll be paying it just around the corner. You'll pay it shortly. Buzzwords. Learn them. They tell you everything. Listen to what they have to say. Will you also please listen today to a person who sat amongst them and begs you while you still have time 
to prepare for your own house, your dinner table, your family, and your children whom you love. And when I came to Quest, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. When I arrived the other day, I, I, I just couldn't believe that such was taking place. This is amazing that you're able to get this many people together so that you can tell them the truth and give them some alternatives as to what they can do. And I'm excited about what's happening. And I hope the next Quest event has twice the number of people you have here today.